Hello and welcome to Tom Molyneux. My name is Tom Molyneux. Um, it's video interview. Here I am. I actually anticipated it to be a little bit easier to create this video, but I've given it a couple of goes now and it's a little bit more difficult than I thought. But here we are. Hopefully I can get this done in less than four minutes. I hope you're doing well on this fine rainy day. It's rainy in Sheffield anyway, where I am recording this from, but I hope the weather is better wherever you are. So I should really get into it now. So my aspirations and what really matters to me, this was a great question. And I think it's something that people could probably meditate on or just contemplate more often, more frequently in their lives, because it is such a great question. Um, but yeah, what matters to me is definitely people more than anything else. For so many years, I was concentrating on generating more revenue via my online business and trying to grow and make more money myself. But ultimately, what it comes down to is actually impacting other people in a positive way. So what I was doing was I had an online business where I was writing blogs very often. But at the start of 2020, I actually decided to create a podcast instead. Well, not instead, actually, just alongside. And I've done that every single day since. And I've got like hundreds of listeners who listen to it every single day. And they love what I have to say on the football stock market, which is what my business is centered around. And I love speaking to other people. And I think getting on other guests and actually having a good positive impact on them, maybe they're a little bit alone. It's You've had COVID and actually to talk to like hundreds of people to really impact their lives is such a significant thing for me personally. And it's something that I think is head and shoulders above making money nowadays, because you can make all the money in the world. But if you're doing that for selfish reasons and you're not actually having a positive impact on the world, then where's the real meaning in that? So, yeah, my answer to aspirations and meaning is probably just to have a good impact on other people and the world. And to try and help other people live the best lives that they can, because I'm very focused on maximizing my time here on Earth. I understand how precious how, how precious our time is. And so if I can help other people live the very best life that they can, then I definitely will. And I want to become a chapter host because, to be honest, I do think I'd be very good at the job. I have very balanced opinions. I've managed to build a community of over three and a half thousand people online already. I think I can grow other communities much bigger um, than that. And I'm still pretty young. I'm only 22, to be honest, but I've already sort of experienced the world. To some extent, I understand business. I think I can just help other people have a really good time. I'm good at organizing things. I've done that with my business and uh, by getting in like hundreds of people onto my podcast and, and so on. So yeah, I think I'd be a great fit for the position, but I also think I'd really enjoy it. And I think my enthusiasm for the world and life would probably knock on onto other people and help them enjoy their experiences even more. I'm like a really positive person in general, I'd say. And other people around me sometimes find that a little bit weird. I'm also like really interested in learning, as I've said. So like I've read like over 30 books and I just want everyone to develop, grow and just live the best life that they can. So I think that differentiates me from other people. Um, but yeah, I'm quite quite open-minded as well. And I'm sure there'll be like plenty of other people on this journey who want different things out of it. And I'll be very happy to cater to everyone's needs. And then a time that I actually overcame a significant challenge was probably when I was working in sales for a little while and I was the manager and we weren't hitting our targets. So I actually set up a rotor so that we would start calling clients at different times and the guys who came in, they started to uh, come in at different times throughout the day and uh, who, who I managed and we smashed out the targets in the end and made a lot more money for the business than we were previously. And if I hadn't have done that, then yeah, the team could have gotten some some trouble maybe, um, but we didn't. So it, it ended up perfectly fine and yeah, happy days really. Uh, but anyway, that, that's about it for today thanks for listening sorry that it has run over by about 15 seconds probably me babbling on at the start but yeah have a great rest of your day and i hope you invite me for a video interview cheers tom out